If you have ever had a list of names and you needed to switch the order of each name, for example, switching the last name with the first name, then this tutorial is for you. As a part of the solution, we will look at a slick way to do this using capturing groups in regular expressions. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript where we help bridge the gap between novice and expert. I just released a new course on regular expressions in JavaScript and I wanted to present one of the problems from that course for this tutorial. Now there are some pretty cool things you can do with regular expressions and I would recommend the course to learn regular expressions in depth for any JavaScript developer. I've included a link in the description section that will allow you to take the course for a discount of more than 75%. And I hope to see you in the course. So here's the issue we're going to, to work with. We have an array of names listed last name and then first name. And what I want to do is switch those names around. Create a new array that has first name, last name with a space in between. Now, how would we go about doing that? Now, there's a couple of approaches, but one I want to look at in this tutorial is using capturing groups in regular expressions with the replace method of strings. Now, this is a really unique approach and probably one you haven't seen for this type of problem. Now, we're also going to be using the map method of arrays to generate a new array that contains the switch names. If you have not learned the map method or you need to review the map method, I'll include a link to the tutorial for the map method in the description section of this tutorial. Now let me first talk about what we need in the regular expression. So if we look at our array, the string portion of the array is each of these names. Now what is a part of those strings that we could use a regular expression with? Well, one is we always have the last name first and then we have a comma and a space. And that's true for all of that. For all the data, this is true. So that gives us a clue of what we want to do with our regular expression. Now, the other thing we need to do is we need to use capturing groups. Now, capturing groups and regular expressions are done with parentheses. By default, parentheses around regular expression pattern captures that data. The trick is that there are a couple of ways in JavaScript we can use that captured data. And this is something that people miss out on with regular expressions and JavaScript. So we're going to create a capturing group for the last name. We're going to create a capturing group for the first name. And then we're going to use those capturing groups. We're going to refer to them to reverse the names. And the end result will be a new array that has first name, last name for all of these names. All right, so let's go ahead and set that up. So as I said, the end result will be a new array. So let's go ahead and set up new names as the variable that's going to contain that. And then we're going to set this equal to names.map. This is where we're using the map method that I talked about of arrays. Once again, if you need to review that, I have a tutorial on that. Now, the map method is a higher order function. This means that we pass in a function to the map method. And the map method is going to cycle through each element of the names array and pass each element, the name basically, to this function. So let me go ahead and set up that function. It's an anonymous function and here's the variable that's going to contain the element that's passed in, the name. Then we have to do something with it. And this is where we're going to use the regular expression. So the requirement of the anonymous function is that we return the results of what that function does. So we're going to return this variable after we've modified it using the regular expression. So we're going to take each name string and we're going to flip it using the regular expression and the replace method. So here's how we'll do that. Name.replace. That's the replace replace method of strings. Now, the way replace works 
is we first indicate what we want to replace. Then we indicate what we want to replace it with. So there's two parts to the replace function. So we want to indicate what we want to replace, and we're going to do that with a regular expression. So start my regular expression here. And then, as I mentioned, we want a capturing group for the last name. So let me enter parentheses. And the last name is going to consist of one or more word characters. And so there's the capturing group for the last name. Now, if I put a comma and a space here, then it will make sure that this capturing group is grabbing this portion of the string, which is the last name. And then after that comma and space, we do another capturing group. Well, just a sec, I left off the slash for that, for that word character. Now we're doing another capturing group. And once again, we have word character, one or more. And then we close the parentheses for that. Now, because there's parentheses around this, it creates a capturing group. What it's going to do is going to capture this data and this data and hold it. That's how it works. So now we can create the second part of the replace method. And what are we going to replace it with? Well, we're going to take those capturing groups and just reverse them. And here's how we do that. We put quotes. Then we put a dollar sign two. This refers to the second capturing group. That's what the two does is the second capturing group. So we'll put that first then a space, and then the first capturing group, just like that. And that allows us to reverse the name. And we'll return that. And so then that will get placed into a new array, and then we'll end up with an array of all of these elements, but with the names switched. All right, let me save that. Let me go ahead and refresh. Let's open the console and let's take a look at this new names array. And there you can see all four names, James Smith, Alyssa Peterson, Lynette Johnson, and Tony Lopez. All four names have been switched. So really cool way to do that with regular expressions and the capturing groups. And I love that JavaScript has some methods that take advantage of those features in regular expressions. Now, before we're done here, please hit the like button. It can help others find this tutorial. Also hit the bell button to be notified about new tutorials. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Or you can click the circle link on the left one on my face. I release a new tutorial each week. You can click the video link in the center to access another tutorial right away. Or click the link on the right to visit my website, allthingsjavascript.com for full courses and a complete list of tutorials. Thanks for watching.